what's up guys welcome back once again it is me molt so happy to be here with you guys as always and today we have a town hall 7 base build um i haven't done a town hall 7 base build in a while really since i started my let's clash account um because i've been focusing so much on designing for my town hall 9 but today guys we have a town hall 7 base build so i hope that you all are excited why don't we go ahead and get into this all right um, so in the middle we are doing a farming base because I don't really feel like pushing trophies on this account um, so in the middle we want one of our best defenses which is our um, why can I not zoom in there we go which is our clan castle because it can have so many troops in it blah 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 everybody knows the importance of the of the clan castle so that is going to go into the middle and then around this little cyclone we are going to uh, hey, I guess that's what we can call it, huh? Cyclone. The Cyclone base. <laughs> um, so around this little Cyclone, we're going to spread out our um, our mortars like that. And then we are going to bring in a gold storage right there. And we are going to bring in a gold storage right here, as well as these wizards. And we have the wizards on opposite sides of the base so that they cover, um, so that they cover a pretty good amount of it. And then we are going to um, continue our way around the base. We're going to bring in that cannon, and then we are going to bring in this air defense, um, as well as another storage. Obviously, since this is a farming base, that's why our storages are so protected in the middle. Um, I'm actually going to take this one out and substitute it for the dark elixir right there, so it's a little bit more protected so that I can upgrade my barbarian king whenever I... Uh, find a good place to raid for Dark Elixir. For anyone who's a Town Hall 7, if y'all know a good place to raid for Dark Elixir, uh, comment down below so that other people can benefit from it, right? Um, let's continue working our way around the base. So we have our Elixir storage right here, and we have our other air defense up here um, as well, so that those also cover the base um, pretty well. So I think that that's going to work out uh, great for me. Um, Next, we're going to bring in our Archer Tower, our Barbarian King, and then a Cannon on this side so that all of those help to protect um, the our splash damage and our air defense. So we really want this air defense to be protected, so that's why we have this Archer Tower right here. Um, same thing's going to happen up here. We're going to bring in this Archer Tower and uh, this cannon right here as well just to help protect our wizard, our mortar, and our air defense which in my opinion and many people's opinions are the most important of your defenses. Next we're going to bring in our hidden Teslas on either sides of the base as well to help um, give them the most coverage possible and then we are going to use the rest of our point defenses being our cannon and our archers um, and we are going to spread those around as well uh, what I want this let's actually take the archer tower and put it on the corner I don't know why that's just what I want to do oh wait never mind <laughs> I changed my mind you always want to spread out your point defenses so right now we have archer tower cannon archer tower um, so that's always just important to do just to um, switch things up you never want to have all your cannons on one side or all your archers on one side or anything like that and then we have some extra walls, guys, that we are just going to put these gold mines in as a, a little bit of distraction. Where? Why am I missing a wall right there? There it is. How did this wall get out here? <laughs> and then we're going to bring in that other wall right there, guys, and we are going to save our village. Okay. And that is exactly what we're looking for. Um, we are going to go to our defenses though right now and grab two giant bombs. I've actually never built these. Um, I'm not going to upgrade them too much because um, at this point I don't want to be paying that much to refill them. So a lot of people are going to say you need to max out your bombs. Um, you don't really need to max them out. It just depends on what you're looking for the bombs to do for you. Um, at this point, since I'm not on this account as much as the other ones, I'm not going to max them out and every time I come back have to freaking refill them. Um, so we're just going to leave them level 1 for right now. Um, we do have 1,180,000 uh, gold and I have the only gold upgrades that I have left are uh, elixir collectors and then walls. I think that's right. Um, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that that's, that's right. 
Um, so why don't we go ahead and upgrade one of these collectors for you guys since I know y'all love me upgrading my collectors. And then we are going to go through here and we are going to upgrade a couple of walls. One, two, three, upgrade. And let's go on to this side, one, and we'll be able to get two over here. There we go. All right, so we've upgraded those walls now. Um, and this is this is the base design, guys. I think that it's gonna work really well. Um, the Cyclone base design. I know this probably looks like some other ones, but um, this is kind of like what my Town Hall 7 was when I first started this game. It was kind of a design like this, but I've tweaked it a little bit since then. Um, what is this doing out here? <laughs> Let's bring this guy over here. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, but right now, as you can see, we have a full army camp with eight giants and some other troops. <laughs> so why don't we go ahead and go on a raid um, is our and our um, spell factory is full as well. So why don't we go on an attack and then I'll be back with you guys in just a couple of seconds, right? Alright guys, we are going to go ahead and attack this base. Um, looks like most of the resources are in the collector, so we're just going to drop uh, a couple of giants as a uh, distraction and then drop off our archers and some goblins to work their way around. A um, couple more giants over here and we're not even going to have to use all of our troops which is awesome and something that we always want to do. Um, where is the rest of that? Uh, it actually does look like some of the elixir is in inside so we're just going to go ahead and um, why don't we just keep on working our way in since we have all these troops and uh, see what we can do so these giants are going to run in the middle right there and let's continue taking out these buildings on the outside um, there we go looks like our giants are taking some damage in the middle but that's not too bad this guy's base is not upgraded well at all <laughs> so it's not really too big of an issue um, we should be able to take everything out right there in the center so to make sure I'm not missing anything um, why don't we go ahead and just uh, try and three star this thing if we can because you know, there's really no point not to. Um, so there's the other gold storage right there. Oh. <laughs> I totally thought that I clicked on my wall breakers. That sucks. Whoever donated me to that dragon, thank you. It is going to win this uh, attack for me. <laughs> Watch, I bet it is. Because there go all those archers. And now it's just going to continue working its way around. So I'm going to put my phone down and relax. <laughs> Um, but that is going to be it for this episode, guys. After this, um, there's all the loot gone. Why don't we just let this dragon uh, finish finish what it does best, and that is flying around and wreaking havoc. Um, wow, it just one shot at that wizard, but I guess it already had some damage on it. So that's not bad resources, guys. I am really focusing on elixir at this point because um, I need to upgrade my. Uh, my barracks as you can see I have one of them upgrading right now and I also have one of my gold storages upgrading once that gold storage is uh, done upgrading it is going to be maxed out so that is going to be perfect um, I'm gonna go ahead and train up some more troops it sucks when you're upgrading a uh, barrack because you have to you can't train up everything at one time uh, it's really really annoying so I've been a little frustrated with that lately because I have to <clears throat> wait like 15 minutes and then get back on just to um, finish filling up my thing and I'm not using dark elixir because I want to be able to upgrade my barbarian king but that's gonna be it for this episode guys thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate the support you guys rock um, I hope that y'all have a great weekend and I will see you guys later as always guys make sure you keep calm and clash on for me right